Hello friends, welcome to our channel Study Dental and coming to the today's topic differences between maxillary lateral incisor and mandibular lateral incisors and our team Study Dental has uh, came with new initiative of mind map material which will be available on our Instagram. Please do follow, like, share and subscribe to my channel and follow Study Dental channel in the Instagram also. And if any mind maps, if you are required from first year to final year, are you interested in buying the mind maps, please DM me in the Instagram. The Instagram link will be provided in the description. Now coming to differences between maxillary lateral incisors and mandibular lateral incisors. Okay. So maxillary lateral incisor will be similar to the central incisor so mandibular central in lateral incisor is also similar to the mandibular central incisors maxillary similar to maxillary mandibular similar to mandibular okay now coming to labial view when we watch from the labial labial side so the first uh, we will see angles here bestow incisor line angle and meso incisor line angle See, uh, to differentiate left and right all these things, we require these line angles. So, meso incisal and disto incisal line angles both are rounded here in the maxillary lateral incisor. In mandibular lateral incisor, there will be only disto incisal angle is slightly more rounded than the meso incisal angle. And here flatter will be there. See, when you see the crown, it will look like flat. From the labial side. It is more convexly from mesial to distal. See. If you see uh, mesial to distal it will be convex. And it, it is flat. Okay. And now coming to uh, incisor feature that is mamelons. See uh, smaller mamelons will be present. Like the central incisors of maxillary. And uh, similarly here mamelons is not there. And coming to the root. Root is long and symmetrical. And root from the labial side, it is somewhat distally bent. Giving the distally bent appearance of the mandibular lateral incisor. Now coming to this, when uh, see, uh, symmetry will be present, less symmetrical. And this is no symmetry at all. Symmetry will not present in this. So with uh, loss of symmetry leading to distally bent appearance of the mandibular lateral incisor. So this is all from the uh, labial aspect of maxillary lateral incisor and mandibular lateral incisor. Now coming to labial, mesial and distal aspect of the maxillary lateral and mandibular lateral incisors. See maxillary lateral incisor from the uh, lingual aspect we will have a cingulum like the central incisor which is smaller and narrower than the central incisor. And beneath the cingulum we have lingual pit present here. This is an important point. Lingual pit will be present for the maxillary lateral incisors. And now coming to mesial marginal ridge and distal marginal ridge. As it is present, see, uh, see maxillary lateral is symmetrical. Okay. As it is mesial marginal ridge and distal marginal ridge, we see mesial marginal ridge is slightly striped. And distal marginal ridge is slightly curved. See from the uh, labial, lingual aspect we have root narrower. Okay. Root narrower, long and slender. Now coming to mandibular lateral incisors. See it is not at all symmetrical. And root is narrow from the lingual aspect, same as similar to the uh, maxillary lateral incisors. And coming to cingulum, slightly distally placed cingulum we will see here. So that in the incisal, see from the incisal aspect also, cingulum will be placed somewhat distally here. Coming to mesial and marginal, uh, dis marginal ridges, see mesial marginal ridge is also striped and longer. Than the distal marginal ridge because of presence of the cingulum on the distal side. 
so uh, by this we will see the uh, somewhat distally tilted distally tilted tooth of the mandibular lateral incisors because of this see contact area contact area of the maxillary lateral incisors is between the incisal and middle third contact area of mandibular lateral incisor is uh, incisor third somewhat incisorly in placed see what is contact area where the two teeth are meet see central incisor and this is a lateral incisor suppose this is a central incisor this is lateral incisor where two teeth get contacted that place is called the contact area okay contact point contact area is present somewhat incisor and middle third of the tooth see tooth is divided into three parts you also know this is the incisal this is incisal and this is middle third and this is cervical third and root is also divided into the three parts it is apical part it is cervical part and middle third okay and now we coming to divider of these three parts into uh, see this is mesial part this is distal part and this is central part so the tooth is divided like this in the oral uh, for reference purposes and for learning purpose all these things we will divide like this the tooth portion into mesial distal and central incisal middle and cervical third okay see always a tooth will be present at cervical third we will uh, see at cervical third it is narrower and it incisal third it is wider this is one thing you have to learn from it and coming to mesial side mesial marginal ridge on the root will be present me so mesial ridges will be present deep developmental grooves on the root will be present same uh, mandibular later also contains that only from distal side we have the contact area and the curve of the this curve will be 2 to 3 mm greater and that's all from the incisal side it is symmetrical and it is uh, not symmetrical and incisal edge will be like this and uh, cingulum will be placed somewhat distal to on the from the incisal view of the about differences between maxillary lateral incisors and mandibular lateral incisors these are all about this will be given in the mind map format and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel study dental